My name is uh, Klaus Leitzmann. I'm a professor of nutrition in Germany, and I'd like to invite all of you to watch the Veggie Channel as often as you can, because it will be for your very benefit. In the question as to what is the proper food for mankind, you always can look at evolution. And the, one of the good ways to get an answer to this question, what is really made for us by nature, is to compare typical meat eaters in the animal kingdom and typical plant eaters in the animal kingdom with humans. And to look at our anatomical and physiological aspects. That is, for instance, if you look at our teeth, you see big difference between animals that eat fruits and animals that eat meat. If you look at the tongue, at the saliva, at our stomach, you can look at many organs and then make a comparison. What is man more closely related to? To meat eaters or to plant eaters? And the answer is we are much more closely related to plant eaters. So I think this is a, one of the orientations that we can use to decide what is the proper food for us. Because uh, if you read textbooks or talk to many experts from different fields, they will always say man is an omnivore. That means he eats plants and animal products. And in fact, man is able to digest both and live of both. But I think these indications that we are made more as plant eaters is a good orientation. The typical omnivores in the animal kingdoms are pigs and rats, because they eat everything, like man does. And maybe for the survival of man, over the millions of years, it was necessary to eat whatever was available. So man always has been very opportunistic in eating what was available in the environment. And indeed, we have examples, if you look in different regions of the world, that we have people that eat only plants, like in southern India, very typical, also in some African countries. And on the other hand, we do have meat eaters, like the Inuits in Alaska. Um, but uh, if you compare these uh, two uh, groups of people, you also have to ask the question, how is their health and how long do they live? And there's no question about it, that the plant eaters do live longer. And I think we have evidence from people living in, I say, in under normal circumstances. Uh, for instance, if you compare the population of California, the vegetarians that live in the Loma Linda region and compare those with the rest of California, that means under the same political, economical, and geographical conditions, the vegetarians in Loma Linda live on average 9.3 years longer than do the meat eaters. So I think that's another indication that plant eating is good for us. There has always been the argument, especially with vegetarians, that it is not only the food, but also the lifestyle. And indeed, vegetarians in many cases don't smoke, drink little alcohol, do exercise, and are not so often overweight as you find in the general population. And I think one has to consider these other influences, but probably is nutrition the most important factor that causes this longevity. There have been these studies on the blue zones. Have you heard about the blue zones? The blue zones is a very interesting concept. There was an uh, Italian and an Irish scientist that decided they wanted to find out where people on Earth live the longest. Mm -hmm. And interestingly enough, it is usually people that live on islands, like 
Okinawa, Japan, Crete, in Greece, Sardinia, Italy, but also Nicosia in Greece also, and an island on the coast of Costa Rica in South America. Those have been the longest living people in terms of how many people reach the age of 100 years. Now, there has been a list of these islands or of these blue zones where Okinawa was on top of the list. And it was followed by, I think, by Crete, and then Sardinia, and then Costa Rica. That was about the sequence of the age of these people. And recently, in the last 10 years, the top of the list is now Loma Linda. Not because Loma Linda or its people have changed their lifestyle or eating very much, they have always been living like this, but because on these islands they don't eat anymore like they used to. Now they eat Western foods. They eat fast food and they don't have quite the same amount of physical activity. And the age, the, the life expectancy has gone down. Now life expectancy in itself is actually not a, an important goal in life. The most important thing about getting to an older age is to be healthy in older age. Because what does it help you if you live for a long time and have to stay for 10 or 20 years in the hospital or in bed or um, incapacitated? And this is the other great benefit of plant eaters, that they have a long life in good health. Man is a subject of nature and man is a subject of culture. And during our uh, culture development, we have learned to process foods because it improves the taste or at least change the taste. And also you can eliminate some of the problematical substances. But food processing nowadays has reached a degree where it doesn't have an advantage, it has more of a disadvantage. Oh.